Hi everyone, it's Lynn Bead Fairy One here. Just a short video with my um, altered bottle caps for UK and Ireland craft swaps. Um, my partner is Mandy Twitchin. So, hi Mandy, and I hope you like these. Um, right, uh, what I wanted to do was um, sort of like an antique vintage feel. So, um, I've done two charm ones and one that is just like a um, one that she can stick on a project so um, first one um, this is um, one of these metal embellishments from focus from uh, Uh, where did I? I'm ladies on YouTube. I'll remember her name in a minute. Um, and the but this is the bottle cap. What I'd done was um, it was a squashed one already, and I went over it with a um, gold pen. Just a minute. Uh, one of these. Uh, it's Pen Touch uh, by Secura and just give it a good shake and um, anyway I went around the bottle top of that to make it gold because they were all silver and um, what I'd done on them was um, I bought some stamps at um, a show, a little craft, a craft show that I went to in Farnborough in March and I hadn't used them yet and um, I wanted to do something a bit different rather than just cutting out an image and um, sticking it in so I cut out a round circle and then I stamped my images and these are the one, these are the stamps that I used um, they're from, they're called Majestic and they're from Card, Card dash io.com and um, this was the one that I used called the secret garden and um, it's um you just build that like a collage I mean they're really tiny as you can see there's my like thumbnail so um, that's that this was the other one that I used with tiny leaves and um, little flowers, you can't really see them because of the glare, but they fit on these like little um, pegs, and you can see through, so you can see through where you're going. So that's what I use. So um, just going to change hands. Um, so yeah, this was the first one that I done, and this has got like the little sitting fairy on it. Can't, you can't really see very well and I've done like a script in the background as well and then I put some chain and then uh, two little um, dangly flowers so that was that one and this one I've used like different shape metal embellishments on each one of them See if I turn around whether it will focus. That's better. I oh, know. See my light now. That's it's gone completely. Come back. Sorry about this. That's better. Um, that was the like standing up fairy, and this one's got like a. I try to keep in with the same theme of the colours that I used in the in the actual little bottle top, and then there's just a um, a key and a lock on that one, and then I've just put some ball chain. I mean, if she doesn't want the ball the chain, she can um, take it off and use a sticky one if you want to. And this one was a round one. And um, 
I've used a different bellflower there again and two little butterflies and um, that is a different fairy again. I've got three three fairies in the pack so um, sorry don't want to play ball today. There you go. You can see that or you could see the script in the background. You can see the script in the background on that one. Um, I use Memento inks and I think I used old paper to start with to distress it and then because the paper was white and I didn't want it white, I wanted it sort of antique -y looking and then I used those, um, I didn't use glossy accents, I used the actual, um, you know what I mean, the tops. That was that one, and um, I've I've started to do a tag um, to put it on. So, and I've um, spritz it with some cosmic shimmer. So I've sort of again used the same stamps in the same colours and um, like built it up. So that's as far as I've got at the moment. So um, I'll take a picture of the finished item and put it on at the end of the video. So um, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching.